dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, let's get original crew. <laughs> It's your boy DJ Duke, your girl. Sierra Nicole. Back on the channel with another. Kid and see original. I kind of ass on that one. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to the channel. Hey, we bringing somebody on the channel for the first time. Well, they, this is not well, the first not time here. on the channel, but you, you get the gist. <laughs> it's Kevin Hart, bro. Stand up comedy special. Now, to be honest, I will say this most of all his comedy specials. I know for a fact I've seen like the first what like three of them he had. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen any that was like on Netflix, but the ones that was like in theater and stuff. Yeah, I've seen those. Mm -hmm. So I can't necessarily react to those like real cold heartedly. Yeah, because I remember those oh, like I almost verbatim. I don't know if I... I'm Especially sure that I one, that first one. I'm pretty sure I have, but I just cannot remember. Mm. Have mm. I? Have we watched any together? No, nah, not Kevin oh. Hart. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> so with that being said, we got Kevin Hart, zero Fs given. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> so with that being said, before we get into it, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box down below. You already know where to go. If you want to first support, always check out the links in the description box down below. Also, we got to take this time and salute. To the comment of the day. Salute to you. We highly appreciate y'all, man. Y'all keep running us up. We're going to keep putting out this content. We're mm -hmm. going to keep giving y'all the laughter and the feels and the vibes y'all need. Most definitely. Also, if you want to see some exclusive content, go over there and check out the Patreon. For real, for real. But with that being said, man, again, it's Kevin Hart. It's zero Fs. Y'all know what that is. Mm -hmm. You know what's good? Yeah, yeah they no probably mind. They probably seen the ad, too. Oh, uh, yeah. That, that. On... Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, ready? Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check it out. Let's see what it's about, y'all. <laughs> I don't feel like my kid's private school respects my level of celebrity. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I really don't. I mean this. I swear to God, I'm not playing. I told you, I'm going to be very honest. It's my fucking household. I'm not holding back. <laughs> they don't respect my level of celebrity. I'm a very humble guy. <laughs> may not seem like it after that sentence but I am I'm a very humble guy what's understood doesn't need to be said you know who I am and I know you know who the fuck I am don't make me say who I am <laughs> they put me in a position to have to say who I am I go drop my kids off at the school teachers come running out surround my car Mr. Hart we would love to talk to you for a second the big fair is coming up <laughs> we do this fair once a year at the school we would love it if you would be the greeter at this year's fair. <laughs> bro, you know you only using me, bro. You using me, bro. Like, you know I'm busy. Girl, don't try to put me on your schedule. Why? All he always got to say is, pull out the phone. I see where I put it in on my schedule. If I can put it on my schedule. <laughs> you know I'm an actor. I'm... Well, let's have this. You have to explain something. I gave her a lot of time for her to say I'm bullshitting. She never said it. I said, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, Mr. Hart, it's our biggest fair. We would love it if you would be the greeter. We think you would make an amazing greeter at this year's fair. Now, before I go on with the rest of this joke, I want to make something perfectly clear. First things first, I have nothing against greeters. <laughs> Okay? I don't want to tell this joke and walk outside my house and it's a group of y'all with signs up talking about cancel Kevin Hart because he don't respect Greek. <laughs> cancel Kevin Hart because he don't respect the Greek. <laughs> Greeters are amazing people. The job is actually required. I get it. I've actually been hit with some amazing greetings in my time. <laughs> I went to Walmart. I got hit with a greeting so fucking fantastic one time. I don't even know where he came from. He just slid in my POV. <laughs> I walked in. He was like, welcome to Walmart. You here to get you some stuff. <laughs> fuck? Where did you come from, man? <laughs> He's like, you better get you some stuff. We rolling back prices. Then he moved on. 
When we walked out the way, I said, what the fuck just happened? What just happened here? I was so blown away by the greeting. Not only did I go get me some stuff, I broke my neck looking for this guy on the way out. I want him to see my stuff. Hey, come here, man. Hey, come here. I want to show you my stuff. He came over. I opened my bag. He was like, ooh. He <laughs> got you some stuff. He said, ooh. <laughs> you got you some good stuff. <laughs> Took out his highlighter, swiped my receipts so people knew I didn't steal. He said, you got to make sure you come back and see me again. I said, are you going to be here? He said, if I'm not, who will? Move on out the way again. <laughs> I would love, I would love to go to that What's Walmart. Be <laughs> so like, who, who the dude got some? Like who the dude that say we got some stuff here? What stuff y'all got? Yeah, I'm trying to get me some stuff. Some of the best goddamn greens I've ever seen, man. Of course, I'm gonna come back and see you again. I'm not shitting on greeters. I'm just saying I didn't have to go that route. I went around that to get to my success. You don't come to me and ask me to be the fucking greeter. I had a number one movie in the box office at the time. I was on the side of fucking buses. You don't ask me to be the greeter. On the main show. There's other parents that got kids that go there that are former actors and actresses that you could fucking ask. Carlton from The Fresh Prince. I find out that's your greeter. This right here. That's what you wanted to fucking front. That's your greeter. Terry Crews, he got kids to go there. That's your greeter, peck popping at the front. Hey, 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 welcome to the fair. Who want a ticket? Combination. Parents would have went. My wife said what she normally says. Kevin, you need to calm down. You need to get yourself together, Kevin. You're getting older, you're getting more irritable, and you don't want that energy to rub off on your kids. It's not going to rub off on my goddamn kids. I know it's not going to rub off on my kids. You know, this pandemic actually gave me a chance to spend a lot of time with my kids. A lot of fucking time with my kids. For the first time, I realized my kids are a little spoiled. They're a little spoiled. But it's not by choice. It's by circumstances. I have good kids. My kids are great fucking kids. I got to be honest, man. I got very lucky. I got great kids. But because of their circumstances, they're a little spoiled. For example, my kids have been flying private since they've been born. They didn't ask for that. They were born into that. They only travel with me. The first time they traveled outside of me was during this pandemic with my ex-wife. Went back to Philadelphia with their mom to go see their grandma. My kids called me from the airport. You would have thought, you would have thought my kids were in Baghdad. I've never seen a higher level of panic in my fucking life. Call me from the airport. Dad! <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> my daughter was like, they're taking my lotions and my toothpaste. What am I supposed to do? <laughs> they're making me walk through metal. My son snatched the phone. What the fuck is going on, Dad? <laughs> no, he did. They won't let me take my bags on the plane. They said I can't take my backpacks and my pulleys and my duffies. Saying I got to put my games underneath. Well, how am I going to play them, Dad? <laughs> I told them both, relax. Stop it. Stop. Both of you. It's called security. It's called TSA, okay? This is called life with your mother, all right? There's a no. I ain't gonna count that disrespectful as fuck. Disrespectful life with your mother, okay? Who you, who you, who you rather be with? Your mama or your daddy? You, 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 with me, it's all cookies and gold. My mama... She got it, but she ain't got it like this. <laughs> Difference. It's a little it's a drop off. It's all right. Things change. It's okay. You'll both be fine. I overlook some of the things that I do because I never thought twice about them. Me and my kids go to the amusement park. We do the whole park. The whole fucking park, man. 30, 40 minutes. How? Well, I call ahead. There's a concierge they assigned to me. I get to the park. The concierge walks me and my family up to the front of every single ride. Done it for years. Keep in mind, I explain to my kids, listen, this is earned. It's not given. This doesn't just happen. Your father worked hard to be able to walk to the front of these fucking lines. 
There's rules that go with this. You don't just walk to the front of the line. Rule number one, as we are walking to the front of the line, you do not make eye contact with none of these fucking people in this <laughs> you, know I mean? you keep your eyes straight ahead and you don't fucking look left or right until we get to the front of the line. These people are going to say things. They're going to say a lot of mean things about me, you. You just ignore them. Fucking ignore them because guess what? When we're in our car and we're heading home, we're never going to see these people again. It's fake. You know these people are going to be? They're still going to be in that fucking line. <laughs> they're still going to be in the fucking line. And that's reality. What you see? <laughs> My kids processed that. They understood it. For years, this is how we operated. They called me from the amusement park. They were with their cousins. They FaceTimed me. I answered the FaceTime. I could tell. I could tell that they were weak, malnourished. They haven't eaten in hours. I could tell. <laughs> they had the white shit in the corner of their mouths. <laughs> you guys are drinking. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Dad. We've been in line for hours. We haven't rode anything. <laughs> We got the fast pass, but it's not fast at all. <laughs> can, can you call somebody? Can you do something? Who are you with? Who are you with? My cousins. Is your mother there? Yes. Put your mom on the phone. Let me talk to your mom. Get your mom on the phone. She said, hey, what's up, Kev? Hey. Checkmate, bitch. I hung her the phone. <laughs> I am tired. I am tired. <laughs> I am done. I was not expecting it. Like your kids, your kids like me a little better right now. <laughs> I done fucked up first. She said, hey, what's up, Kev? Hey. Checkmate, bitch. I hung the phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's quick. Oh, shit. I haven't went over these jokes with my ex-wife yet. I just want to let you guys know. This is cheap ass. These jokes are going to come with a price tag attached to them. I know they are. <laughs> Right. Probably have to buy her a Tesla truck or something. Something's got to happen. <laughs> it's a good fucking joke. Those are two good jokes. I can't get rid of them. <laughs> hey, those are two good jokes, those bro. Those are two good jokes, though. Bro. I'm done. Shit, me. Shit, me. I'm going to What the life? What the life, man? <laughs> hey, with the being said, man, if y'all want any more Kevin Hart, y'all let us know in the comment section down below. Smell us up. Let us know y'all want some more of the series, man. Hey. I actually like this one. Though. Yeah, this one. This was a good start. <laughs> you said what? I'm just thinking, bro. The chat, chat me. <laughs> <laughs> and bro, just he just like yeah, yeah. You, you see who you see? Because it's so it's so relatable. It's so yeah. true. It's, it's so real. Mm -hmm. And that was what makes it funny, man. But with that being said, y'all already know how it go, man. I do go by the name DJ Nikki this is. We are. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah.